he, he overall I think I did a good job um, it just took pulling too many teeth to get what I wanted you know does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It was just too hard because he wasn't a writer. He could just shoot. Yeah. And so, and he could edit really well, but he couldn't help me tell the story. So, part of their job at this, his level, coming from a news station, he sees the story too. Yeah. So if I'm telling him, like we just sat and storyboarded the whole story yes. a second ago, and I told him, he goes back and forth. He's like, okay, we could put this here because he's writing with me in his head. Yes. It's hard to do the whole thing by yourself. Yeah, I swear. So, give me a minute, my eyes like off. I mean, you can yeah, do it. The yeah. first one I did literally by myself. It and I, a good video. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I just, it's too much work. No, I can only imagine yeah. how much work that is. So I literally had to, yeah. We talk about it, he gets it right the first time, and then we just fine tuning uh. it. Shut up. <laughs> so I seriously, really, I like, I've been looking at those questions, I'm like, I just don't know, I don't know what to say. You're not gonna know, I mean, I'm just gonna ask you about, then that, that's why I don't even like giving you questions. I like you to just freaking talk. Because <laughs> when you talk, you just, it comes from your heart. Yeah. Tell me when. I'm ready. You rolling? Good one. Just look at me. Do not look at the camera in my eyes. Okay, go for it. So you just tell me your name and your title. Yeah. Okay. For, for the record. Full name or like? Yeah, full name and title. Okay. Uh, my name is Crystal Carey. I'm the emergency department director here at the Loretto Hospital. And spell it for him just so he'll know your name. Uh, C-R-Y-S-T-A-L-C-A-R-E-Y. Okay. So just tell me, I won't stick with these questions, I'll do it another way with you so you can just relax, you hot mess. <laughs> so what did, tell me about your job in the ER, um, just day to day. Day to day life in the emergency department. Um, I think it's a combination of order and chaos, uh, compassion, um, joy, craziness, but there's a million adverbs we could give, <laughs> or adjectives that we could give to the emergency department. So you're pretty much the, their first contact, a patient. So yes. how does that work to make sure our patients know that we care? You know, when patients come to the emergency department, they they're not here because they want to come here. If they're not feeling well, they're sick, they may have lost a loved one. Um, so when they come into the door and we're the first persons to see them, you know, we, we get them at their worst, sometimes at their very bottom. And, and it's our job as emergency room nurses and physicians to, to raise them up, you know, and that's to provide that good quality care, um, that compassion, Sometimes it's lending an ear, um, but just really giving them that undivided attention that they need um, from nurses, from technicians, from the physicians. Deitra talked about, because I know you guys have a very similar philosophy, but she talked about when a nurse, I mean, when a patient comes through the ER, and Anash talked about this as well, that was a part of the whole operations revamp and it started in the ER. Do you know about that? So we, we redid the, the front lobby when patients come in and it's, it's beautiful. We have a new front desk so when patients enter the emergency department the first person they see um, is somebody welcoming them into the department um, and it's getting their information, seeing why they're here and getting them through the process um, quicker. Um, and then getting them placed into the um, into the main uh, emergency department for them to be seen by the physician. And once a patient, how do you feel like your role as a nurse and as, as an ER nurse impacts our quality of care? Repeat that question. How do you feel 
your role as a nurse impacts our overall quality care? I think that the impact of the emergency department can set the tone for the rest of a patient's visit because they see us first, so they need those smiles, that compassion, um, that one-on-one -on -one, um, treatment, um, and to provide them with the best care. I mean, we're, like I said, we're, we're the front doors to the hospital, so if somebody comes in and I'm having a bad day, I can't let them know I'm having a bad day. I need to give them my undivided attention and let them know that I'm there to treat them, to provide care for them, and that they are my number one um, priority at that time. And how long have you been here? 15 years. So how was it when you first came and what is it like now under Mr. Miller? Um, Just be honest, because we'll, we'll grab certain things. So, I mean, number one, taking away just the change in management. Um, it's way busier now than it was when I first started here. Um, our daily census, you know, um, has nearly probably doubled on some days from what we used to have. Um, there is accountability. There is more communication with Mr. Miller. Um, there's more faces of leadership team throughout the hospital directly involved in patient care, um, communicating with frontline staff. Um, the fight go on and on. <laughs> That's good. And um, if you had to tell a patient or the community anything about Loretto Hospital, you have had them for five seconds, what would you tell them? Make sure you come back. Um, deep down inside, how do you feel about what you're doing here, helping out the community? You know, I, I love working here. I have never left here. I started my career here as a new graduate nurse. Um, I have worked my way up into the uh, to the role of management, and um, I love being able to help the community. As a matter of fact, I walked through the sixth floor today and saw one of my favorite patients I've known for 15 years. Miss Gloria, how are you? I gave her the biggest hug. I said, how's your family? She said, how are the kids? Because we just know each other that well after all these years. And I, I love that about working here because it's a community. We know a lot of the patients that come through because you, you know, an emergency department setting, you don't think your patients are regulars, but but they are. You know, you see the same patients daily, weekly, monthly, and you get to know them. You get to know their family members, um, and this hospital is going to be here for a long time, servicing the community. We're not going anywhere. One other question, I have to get this one. Your role as the emergency management preparedness person, leader, <laughs> whatever that title is, because you got a lot of hats too. Emergency management coordinator. <laughs> Talk about that role and how it plays into our patient safety and quality of care. You know, one of the things about Loretto Hospital being a safety net hospital certainly is, um, being able to have the same resources as some of the bigger hospitals have. And with the help of um, our community partners, um, they're able to give us resources so we can care for patients here. So if we had to have an emergency evacuation, we have all the equipment that we would need to be able to safely move patients out of our hospital without using elevators um, into another hospital because we were provided those, um, those funds um, through these grant services um, for evacuation. You know, we've got enough to evacuate the hospital twice over, you know. Um, we can provide um, hazmat um, decontamination services to the community if they came. As a matter of fact, we did it last week. You know, we had a, a, a hazmat situation with a patient. We were able to decon them in our shower room, you know, and not all facilities actually have that, which is pretty nice. 
Um, but you know, we have we have um, equipment here when power goes out that we're able to have emergency power and lighting um, to be able to service them. So if they come in here and we have a disaster, not only do we have resources available to us, but um, the management team has gone through so many exercises that that I feel that they are more ready today than they were last year, um, especially with the new senior leadership team. They find emergency management to be a priority and a necessity, and they are fully involved and committed to making sure that it's successful for our patient safety. That's what I needed you. I needed that, that piece right there. <laughs> See, talk to me about emergency management. No, and I needed that last thing that you said. Yeah. We're going to be here a long time. I got it. Okay. 